Are you looking for more ways to not spend money? Same bitch, it's like my new favorite hobby. So to support my new hobby and to share the joy with all of you, I've compiled a short list of some of my favorite free Blender add-ons. These are useful for modeling, animation, texturing. If you have some that you use that are super useful and they're not mentioned here, please do myself and everybody else a solid and share them in the comments. Okay, first up is Secret Paint. It's really fun to play with and it's great for environments and modeling. This add-on is so easy to use and so freaking cool. I'm shocked that it's not more widely used. You can get it from the Blender extensions page or activate it right from extensions in your preferences. So this extension does multiple things. You can paint objects onto surfaces really easily. It's cool for modeling, especially procedural architecture, procedural biomes. It's very versatile and very simple to use. For painting or scattering objects onto other objects, you literally just select the object and then the target, press Q and paint. It's using the Geonode's hair system, so you can use these brushes to selectively adjust what you want the way you would with hair. You can also switch between manually editing the distribution of your objects and procedural distribution. It's also really easy to adapt and add things, like wind. Another cool function here is that you can easily switch between what object is being referenced if you want to see if another might work better or something. And you can also apply that same biome to another object. You can also save the biome to your asset library. And that's not all. This extension has so many different uses. Like here, if you have an object selected and then press Q, you can draw with the object in 3D space on a curve. It's super cool for nature scenes, obviously, but also, you know, your creativity is the limit. The next one is Smear, which is great for animation. You'll never guess what this one does. Smear, it, it makes smear frames. You literally just need to select your geometry, then click on the button that says Bake Smears. Once that's done, you just select what options you want and you can see for yourself just how easy it is to change settings and see it update straight away. You can have general smears on the geometry or you can have motion lines and there's an option for multiple in-betweens as well. It's really straightforward and you get quite a few options to play around with here to get your smear frames behaving exactly as you want. Smear frames have never been so easy. Next up is Uchi Paint for texturing. This add-on allows you to paint in layers right in Blender. So all you need to do is first add a Uchi Paint node setup, but never fear, because all you need to do is click this button. Then you can pick if you want a principal shader, diffuse or emission. You'll add a solid color layer in the layers panel as your base. And then to start the actual texture painting, you'll add an image in the layer above that and you start painting. This works very similarly to other layer-based painting software or plugins. You can even change the opacity of your layers and change blending modes. There are a lot of options here when you want to create a new layer. Like for instance, this dust one is really cool. You can use it to add something that looks like a dust layer. So the parts of the geometry that are raised and stick out they would catch dust as it settles down. So that'll have that color on it. And this is basically like a mask. You can still edit it. It's a cool effect for like also faking highlights and stuff like that. For each layer, we also have these other settings here for the channels and you can turn those on and off as you need them. You can even paint the bump layer in. There's a lot you can do with this. It's non-destructive and it's fun. Next up is mirror tools. Mirror Tools is pretty dope for modeling for various reasons. It's got this Draw Extrude tool, which I really like when modeling, especially organic shapes. That's pretty lit. It's just a matter of selecting the plane or edge you want to extrude and then drawing out in the direction you want it to go. You can also use surface snapping to draw extrude along the surface of some other geometry. There are also options for different types of deformers. You've got just noise with turbulent, fractal, and heteroterrain as options, or you can use this deformer also with a bunch of settings. The linear deformer allows you to place this sort of guide around the area of your model that you want to deform or change, and then it affects that part. Using this with scaling is cool because the most influence is on the widest part, so you get this nice taper as it scales. It's not like when you select a bunch of vertices and try to scale them. It's a more gradual change in scale. You can also use it to rotate from a specific point, twist, bend, and create a spiral, and some other stuff. 
There's also this curve guide that I like a lot too. So you're essentially using a control curve to model with. There are a lot of other things you can do with mirror tools. This isn't a video just focused on that though, so I'm gonna move on, but check it out. Next up, we've got Polyquilt for Retopology. It's very similar to Retopo Flow, but it's free. It's very simple to use, and of course there are tons of options. Easy to create faces and have them snap to the surface. You can cut faces, snap vertices. You can smooth them where you've messed up the flow a bit. There are all these tools you can use for loop cuts, knife tool, the brush for smoothing vertices. It's straightforward for Retopo needs, and best of all, free. All right, and last is Edge Flow. This is a set flow operator. It follows the flow of the surrounding geometry. This is a good one for modeling just for curves in our geometry. You can use it on edges as well as vertices, and it's a simple but useful tool. So let me know if you've used these extensions before and what you thought of them. And please, if you do know of any others that weren't mentioned here, share them in the comments. The people need to know. Thank you to those patrons who are still hanging around. I know that I've been erratic in my uploading for various reasons, but I really appreciate the ongoing support. Hit the like button. It really helps to get these videos out into the wild. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my other videos. And see you next time. Bye.